Oh, welcome back. Yes, it's Monday, and yes, you are locked in at your feel-good breakfast show right here. Now, we've learned about the skills that you can use to cultivate happiness when you focus on your mind-body connection from psychotherapist and author Noah Billing. And now she's talking and taking us through a somewhat of an exercise that features in a new book, The Happiness Workout. Now, these are activities that anyone with any physicality can perform, and we're encouraging everybody at home right now to either stand up or remain seated, but please do engage with your body and let's spark some happiness. Noah, let's take it away. I'm so excited for this. I heard your chat earlier, something that I am an activist for, something that I truly believe in. So I'm here. I can't wait. <laughs> let's do it. So to start with, I'll just say these are introduction, an introduction to the four physical skills that can stimulate different aspects of our feel-good biochemistry. And I'm offering them all together as an opportunity to taste each one. And I'm going to ask you at the end which one you feel you need most today. So I'm getting a little trailer right now. That's right. Oh, and the, for viewers as well, to ask yourselves which one you feel like you need most and perhaps to use it a couple of times through your day and week. Okay, brilliant. Shall so I... Zanzi, yeah. you guys heard the call. We want everybody to get in involved with this and you can join me and try figure out which one of these you might, might prefer but let's take it away. All right the first one is to boost your energy, okay. get your motivation going and this one is to loosen up your body, give your body a little bit of a shake out. Okay, so I'm just shaking out? You can shake out, you can <laughs> shake out your arms and legs, give your feet even a little shake out. Another way to do that is to just reach, stretch, sometimes we yawn when we do that and notice how it can, even just in a few seconds, include a, uh, increase a kind of a tingly aliveness that you might feel in your body. I'm getting tingles, and I don't know if this is to do with my training, but my chest mm. is tight, and I'm feeling mm. like this opening and a tingling. Is that correct? Mm, mm, and we tend to take deeper breaths, and this can stimulate our lovely excitability and dopamine kind of happiness qualities. Then we've got our grounding. If we need some calm, if we need some inner peace, place your two feet on the ground. If you're standing, if you're sitting, place your two hips evenly on your seat. And then rise your posture up as if you're pressing down through your feet, through your tailbone, so that your standing is nice and grounded and centered. And take a moment with a nice deep breath and a long exhalation that can help you ground. These are all those qualities like more inner quiet, more inner peace, more serenity. The third quality I'm going to introduce is your strength, which is your ability to rise above your challenges. And this you can even stimulate by standing tall, holding your head up high, feeling the strength of your body to hold you upright. In the happiness workout, there also are exercises where we engage our strength, whether it's lifting up our shopping bags or engaging our muscles through doing simple exercises. This can help us feel stronger in ourselves, feel able to really overcome any challenges that we might face. And the fourth quality is if you place your hand over your heart, this stimulates your feel-good oxytocin, which is your snuggle and cuddle hormone. And this is all about love, being kinder and gentler towards yourself, and if you feel up for it, being able to share that outwards, energetically into the world and the space around you, do you know that if you share love outwards, if you feel warmth in your heart and you send it out energetically to someone who may need it or to the world, to all living beings even, it can help you to feel stronger in yourself and help you with any particularly emotional challenges. And don't forget to come back to fill yourself with that warmth, to fill yourself with that nourishment that I call it warm-heartedness can offer. So those were the four skills, and I wanted to ask you. They're small little interventions that we can use maybe once or twice a day when we feel we need a little lift. Which one did you feel like you resonated most with today? So I've got to just say this. Um, the last one that you gave me mm. with regards to the heart, I do feel like I'm very blessed to work on a show like this where we get to share that love. Yes. So I resonate with the fact that I can really agree with you when I say when you give out love, you really get it back in return. Absolutely. But one thing that stood out with me today was I often do your first exercise before I go through an event mm. to shake off the, yes. the preparation. And that's such a great way to just yeah. get rid of all the last bits of poison before you go into that world. 
But to answer your question specifically, yeah. number two was just perfect for me, especially when you come into this environment. Yeah. It's fast paced, it, there's so much going on. Mm -hmm. I think that grounding exercise where you just take that moment to just reconnect and be present with yourself, mm -hmm. it's something that we are all lacking in this day and age. So I think from Zanzi at home, I think you definitely will agree with me that second one was really a favorite, just to get grounding and, and have that intention set for the day. So number two for me was, it was a goodie, especially in this chaotic world that we live in right now. So I think Mzanzi will definitely agree with me, especially during this pandemic, that that's a brilliant, brilliant tool, I think, that we could use. And I, I'm, I'm interested in doing everything. Although you gave me a trailer on all yes, four versions, yes. I would love to explore it all more. And I think Mzanzi would agree with me. So and thank you so much, My Noah. pleasure. If I could just add one mm. more quick word, is that these are all qualities that you can practice on the spot to increase them on the spot, no matter what your moment is, as well as develop them over time with lo longer workouts, developing your body in particular ways that helps you develop these skills. I couldn't agree more. I was stressed because I had to go change into my gym gear yes. and Lucian, and our director, is like, no, chill, relax. This is the <laughs> happiness workout. You can do it anywhere, however you are. So exactly. I got to keep my uniform on and I think exactly. that's, the, that's the best part. Anyone exactly. and everyone can do this. So Noah, thank you so much. We look forward to seeing more of your work and spread more happiness as you are because I I think Mzanzi is just absolutely loving it. Thank you very much for having me. <laughs> <No>. <laughs>